What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video with another month comes another package. It's February and this month we have the Blood Samurai package. Let's take a look at what you get with the new package. All right, so this is actually one of my favorite packages that's been released in quite a while. Um, last month was probably the worst one, in my opinion, that they've released in a long time. I didn't even go over that one, uh, and if you you can't get it anymore, so I'll quickly show it uh, last month. So if we go to badge, and then we go to here, so this is what you get last month. A lot of people got this. Uh, the higher tier version of this one actually did look a lot better, uh, but it's just the color on it. I don't know. I think it looks okay, but I don't think it's something that I would wear. Uh, and you know, it, it's just sword pet's probably the only good part about the package, in my opinion. Although I'm sure someone likes this set, and that hood actually does look pretty cool. But I don't have any white armors I can match with that hood, and I'm not a big fan of that armor. So, not my not my favorite package. But this month, this month you get a much much better package. So if we go to badges, uh, same air, same place. This is where it'll be once you purchase it. So before we go look at the package, let's actually go over what you get. So you get the character page badge, which is on your character page. It'll say, hey, uh, you bought the package. Um, the way you get the package is with the six month or 5K AC or below for the blood one. And if you want the jade, which the jade looks similar, except it's green and silver instead of gold and uh, red. So if that's your, if you like the green and silver color combo better, then you might want to go for the 12k, uh, 12 month or 12k AC packages. Um, a little bit of like uh, something that makes me confused about this is how the six month package costs the same amount as the 12k AC package, but you don't get the Jade Samurai set for six months. I don't know why that is. I guess to sell more 12 month memberships. Uh, but it just, I just, I just find that a little weird that for some reason they, yeah, they should have a equivalent value package for ACs if they're going to do this. So, um, right now the cheapest one, one would be to get 12k ACs, but if they're going to sell this for uh, next, almost $60, $2 off $60, right? Uh, they should have a $60 AC package. Maybe it's like 24,000 or no. Well, that'd be a lot of ACs, but maybe it's like uh, 18,000 ACs or something like that. Like a lot more ACs and maybe they can include a new class with it um, that isn't member locked like this one is. That's another issue I have that if you buy a lot of ACs, you get a member only class, which maybe you only bought ACs and you need to buy a membership. Okay, enough rambling about the payment system in Adventure Quest Worlds. I'm sure everyone knows how messed up it is. Um, so if we go shops, here are the items you get. You get a single katana the red one and then you get another one with the animation this is one of the better items in this set you get the blood samurai armor uh the crest with the i guess like hair it's supposed to be hair i don't know what that's supposed to be uh you get the hat with the mask uh this has in game is a drop i think it's a non-member drop i made a video on it a long time ago like years ago uh if you search how to get it i don't i don't know the exact name of the item offhand but there is an item in the game without the mask. So if you want to get that, that's an item you can get in game. Uh, but that's just the version with the mask, basically. You get the helmet, the helmet with the mask, the banner, the guardian cape, which I think is probably hands down the best item in this. It's uh, There was an item that looked like this. Uh, it's kind of similar to this. Uh, and it, that's an item I didn't get, but I really wanted. And this one's pretty similar to that. So I'm really happy that they released it. And you get the dual cross back blades in the red set. Like I said before, the green set, if we scroll down here, we can see the green set and we can view it more. Uh, there's a better look at the green set. It comes with side blades. It comes with different weapons too. So you get, there's like a cyber katana, dual katanas for the green. Uh, you get the green sword with the animation on it and probably the one without the animation. Uh, you get a pet for both the red cape and the green cape. Uh, so that's what you get with the higher tier package. There's probably a little bit more too. Um, you also get more bonuses and stuff like that with the higher tier package. So you only get five here, you get seven here uh, for each bonus. And those will go in your bank if you already have them in your bank. So check your bank if you don't see those appear in your inventory when you purchase the package. So let's look at the whole set equipped. I have the Blood Samurai helmet, the armor, 
the cape. Oh, it's still bugged? Wow, okay. <laughs> I don't know why that's bugged, but it's been bugged for me uh, since yesterday. So hopefully someone fixes that. I might tw I tweeted out yesterday, but I'm I might tweet it to Elena today and ask why that's happening. Um, and the katana. So you can kind of see. So for some reason, if I unequip the helmet, so I have no helmets equipped right now, but there's still a helmet on there. And if I look at my armor, you can see that there's not supposed to be a helmet on the armor. Like it's not supposed to be a built-in thing, obviously. But for some reason, it's equipping a helmet when I equip the armor on my character. So, like, even when I equip, like, a doge, you can still see the helmet behind it. And when I equip, like, something like that, so you can still see the helmet behind it. The helmet's on my character. Kind of ruins the armor. I really like the armor. It's really cool armor. It's got, it's got like, a cape built into it. And, uh, you can't really see this, but here's what the cape looks like when you're running around. There's a running animation for the cape. And, uh, yeah, the blade's got an animation on it, too. And, of course, there's the blade without the animation and different helmets, uh, for the armor also. But you can you can see what those look like in the menu. You don't really need to see them on the character. That's basically just for size is why I equip it on the character, and that's it. So there's the cape. There's the whole set. If you guys got the package, tell me down in the comments uh, whether you like it or not. This is actually one of my favorite packages in a long time. I've said that before, and I'll say it again. Uh, hopefully they do more packages similar to this in the future uh, with different themes. Okay, kind of a weird cut in the video. Sorry about this, but. Uh, when I look at my character on here, uh, I have the helmet, but if I go to my character page, I don't have a helmet. Uh, super, okay, that's kind of sucks. Maybe I have to clear my cache, let's try that. Alright, like with most of most adventure quest issues, clean the cache fixed it. Alright, so then nothing to complain about there. That was obviously the bug that was fixed, and clearing my cache solved that issue. So now I can equip any helmet I want, and it does not have a background. Okay, so good, 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 good. Thank you guys for watching this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.